Hi everyone, I finished two junk journals and I thought I'll do a flip through. So, uh, first one, and both of them are made just from paper bags. Uh, the smaller one, here it is, the cover, I just uh, glued some book pages and then I had leftovers from paper napkins and glued uh, them here. That's what great with paper napkins with white background, it just disappears into the back, you don't see it and you don't have to fussy cut the images. So I'm just starting, some of the pages are, has, have <laughs> videos like this one, so if you are interested in it, you ha there is a video. And as far as I can remember, this journal is made only from brown paper bags. This one is from all kinds of paper bag, and the, the larger one. This is just a painted paper that I put, I had silicone trivets in these shapes that I just sprayed and stamped. Okay, so mo some of the <laughs> pages, I really just don't remember what I've done. I just glued stuff and that's what <laughs> came out of it. Like here I can see I have torn paper in the back from whatever painty collage paper I had and then stenciled the image and uh, if I remember correctly it's from a graphic fairy so you can uh, look it up and this uh, butterflies are from a paper napkin once again on white background so that's great and what did I do here <laughs> I don't remember I think I just had some leftover paint so it went into the background I stamped on it and I played this I've made it on some watercolor paper and just glued it here uh, I had all kinds of torn pieces in blue and I wanted to use them I don't it seems like I don't throw anything even small pieces so I glued them to the page and then took acrylic paint to smudge the edges uh, printed this this is from all this uh, round uh, <laughs> dots are from a uh, silicon a coaster that I used to a uh, stamp and these flowers are made with some stencil I had okay once again some torn uh, pieces in the back and just smudging and blending the edges into the background with acrylic paint some uh, stenciling all around and the the butterfly is from a paper napkin. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I went wild with uh, acrylic paint in the back. And all of this on top is just a stencil that I made. And I stenciled with black. So that's how I got the background. And these are just free. Um, I don't know what to call it. Free drawing, free scribbling uh, flowers on uh, dictionary pages and here you go uh, this background was made with a painty paper that I just sprayed on it was even not intentioned it was so whatever I did use it would take the excess off and won't make a mess and of course then I just had to use it. So it uh, sprays in the back. Then I stenciled uh, on top. This leaf shape is from one of uh, the stencils that I make. And I think it's with Distress Ink. And there are all kinds of stamping. And uh, these are with Posca Pen. And I made a flower. And basically this is it. Okay, so I had this for a long time. I even think there is a video uh, of this. It's like from, I don't know, maybe five years ago. And I just 
I uh, wanted to show how I made all kinds of stuff from leftovers. Basically, I took large pieces of uh, paper, uh, glued to them any kind of uh, pieces of paper napkin or other uh, leftover uh, <laughs> papers. So I put on a large uh, piece all kinds of scraps glued them and then cut shapes and made this so i just it was just laying around and i wanted it to save it and not just be floating around in one of my, of my stashes so it i made a home for it here and background is just a acrylic paint and i've doodled all these spirals okay so here is a um, uh, the technique is an uh, exclusion uh, technique. I had some painty paper with all kinds of uh, leftover paint, stamping, and I just put it here, made the this branch, and then went around and, well, camouflaged the other stuff. <laughs> so I excluded the, uh, all the other stuff and left this. Okay, I had this ATC that I made. Uh, it's all kinds of paper towel, a painted paper towel that I used to just clean other stuff. So I had lots of paint on it. I, I kept it, glued it to the back, and this is a rub on. And so what I've done is used in the background the colors I had here, most of it. Uh, there is some uh, book pages in the back and all kinds of leftover stuff in the back peeking through. I, I don't know if you can see it, but they are there. So st some stamping and basically this is it. Okay, so uh, background is just some uh, writing uh, on printer paper I printed it I've I don't know how to call it aged it <laughs> with some uh, dark uh, tea, ba tea bag and some staining with distress ink I made this double pocket with these two tags a long time ago I believe there is also a video of how to do this kind of double a uh, pocket with tags uh, again a very long time ago so I'm trying to incorporate a lot a lot of stuff that I've done a long time ago and was here and try to incorporate it into all kinds of journals and here I have all kinds of leftover uh, stuff from other projects and some uh, stickers and this was stencil, this is washi tape and I've uh, started playing with wax cells. So basically this is it, that's my journal. And let's go to the other one. The the cover is all kinds of leftover papers, small papers, leftover, whatever, and I just glued them. I didn't care what, and it just went all over. And when I was finished gluing everything and it was dry, I just done all these circles and again excluded part of a uh, in between, and that's how it came to be. This journal is from all kinds of uh, paper bags, not only the brown ones. Like this paper bag was with this design, so I used it as part of the background and put some paper napkins and I drew these birds and uh, printed them. Well, I scanned them before and then printed them on dictionary page. I 
think maybe this is on video I'm not sure or maybe I've done something similar uh, again all kinds of pieces torn pieces of paper from my dictionary where one dictionary where I put excess paint some leftovers from jelly prints and whatever I had so I just glued them I uh, stenciled in the back all these uh, leaves and uh, this is made with ink tense uh, pencils all the focal image and of course I fussy cut it and glued it to, to the page now I wanted it to pop off the page so I went with white diluted paint all around just to uh, push back a little bit of the background so it will stand out okay so I don't remember what I've done here <laughs> I can see several pieces of painty paper from whatever uh, I had left because it's a junk journal mostly I use all the bits and pieces that are left over from other projects so I glue them down and then I go from there and I made all kinds of uh, marks and as you can see just another branch with leaves I really like to do branches with leaves okay so what I've done here <laughs> <laughs> I made a stencil with just with squares and then I went and took distress inks with a makeup uh, brush I'm talking about uh, let's see, this kind of brushes and just done this kind of uh, rainbow effect with the distress inks and this is a, a piece of of paper napkin and then I just uh, stenciled the image image from a magazine in the back some paper scraps from other, pro other projects that I just uh, glued uh, to the back and then I wanted to do all kinds of daisies that partly camouflage <laughs> the image I don't know <laughs> At, at the time I really liked it I'm not sure about it now but it was a uh, great doing it okay lots and lots of uh, pieces from book pages small pieces glued all over the page and then paper napkin all this uh, pinkish uh, flowers from a paper napkin the bird is from a paper napkin the image is from the graphic fairy but i played with it in uh, photoshop and went all a uh, blue instead of black and white and then i just took a blue acrylic paint with lots of water and just went all over here and then i took brown acrylic paint the same thing and basically i've done like a wash or a stain all over the page and it brought everything together okay I remember using some stencil here and layering and layering and I didn't like it and then I just started um, going over some of the lines with uh, this Posca pen and then I stenciled with white and that's how this page came to be this page has a video so you can uh, look it up and here what have I done here I, I have some uh, book pages and printed uh, stuff in the back then gesso to a uh, kind of blend it into the background this uh, is from a paper napkin and I've used it on the paper bags uh, some time ago and some asked where I got it it's uh, from a jumbo uh, it's a chain in several uh, countries in Europe I bought the paper napkins there uh, this uh, tree of life if you can call it and then I just took a gold uh, pen and done all of these details uh, this was a stencil that with with distress inks 
this page has a video so you can look it up and here as far as I remember I put gesso then I uh, played with uh, water soluble oil pastels I just smeared them with baby wipe then I've uh, stamped in the background to get some detail I drew these flowers and I don't remember what else I've done here okay here uh, I have gesso in the back some gelatos smeared again it's mostly like using the water soluble oil pastels or acrylics you just smear them and activate them and that's how the background came to be with some stamping and this image is from I took it out of one of my uh, water uh, <laughs> not water a uh, coloring pages books yes so to use that also uh, here I've got some again all this is bits and pieces from a magazine in basically yellow and orange uh, colors that I glued in the back this is from a piece of game a, a board game that can't be played after it's finished so I had to use it and one of my uh, greeting cards that got damaged so I just took the front and glued it here this one uh, I I had a video still have a video how to make the this greeting cards from just scraps laying around so you can also uh, look it up and I just put the butterfly here okay what did I do here <laughs> sometimes it's hard to uh, remember what I've done I smeared paint that's what I've done I smeared paint with my finger like this and then went on top of it with a circle stencil this is again just free a drawing on a dictionary page and all of this is a stencil the black um, writing is, is from a stencil this has a, a video and what did I do here well I made the flower and it needed a home, a home. so <laughs> bits and pieces so this was left from uh, some kind of painted paper and because it had this uh, spirals on it i went again and just stamped the uh, spirals with gold acrylic paint and making marks with another uh, like almost silver uh, marker all around and that's it Mm, here I've got the start was some um, gel print that I've made and then I stenciled to give it more details and the feathers are cut from uh, some folio back to school that I bought because I wanted the <laughs> the feathers always look at some things like a back to school and all kind of paper bags with uh, that are printed they are cheap and you can take out of them all kinds of a uh, nice stuff cheap <laughs> okay uh, what did I do here smeared paint smeared paint and stencil basically used the same three colors and where I had I don't know this kind of uh, dark purple or dark red then I stenciled on top of it with the turquoise and where I had turquoise I uh, stamped or stenciled with with the purple so uh, just using uh, three colors here and this is a stamp the um, the leaf and I just stand, uh, printed it several times and then went in with gold marker and some paint well 
<laughs> this is like I've done it like I don't know six years ago it's just brayer in the back with three colors and I had this letters from a book so I kept them and made my name <laughs> like this here <laughs> and this I just drew freehand and this flower and this flower is just a stamp just played with it <laughs> Let's see. Am I missing a page? Yes, I am. Okay. So, as you can see, this paper bag was uh, this red. And there was nothing on it. Then I put some gesso in the back. And then I smooshed paint. Just smooshed. Took another uh, Bristol paper. Put some, not some, a lot of acrylic paint and smooshed it. And that's how I got this interesting background. Then I uh, made marks with circle uh, objects that you see. And the, I've done some uh, turquoise splattering. And this was made using one of my stencils. But what I've done is I used the stencil just to take the shape of the dragonfly. And the wings that are uh, transparent are made from a paper napkin and how did they do it you take a the backing of a paper napkin the white uh, backing you pay, you put it on some uh, non <laughs> porous surface you go very gently with watered down white glue and let it uh, be. When it's uh, dry, it it firms up so you can do stuff on it. I've <laughs> I've stamped upon it um, this, and you won't believe it. I will bring it so you can see how I got this detail in the wings. I had this silicone trivet. Here it is with this design. And that's what I printed on the wings so it looks more organic and I went over all of this with nail polish with glitter so that's how I got the glitter the nail polish is basically a clear transparent it just had some glitter in it so that's how I got these wings and uh, this page has a video uh just left over uh, pieces from other projects that I combined and the only thing that I have done is between the torn pieces I just uh, colored with some marker that's it I really didn't do anything here and here we go okay this page started with book pages and then I glued on the book pages this paper napkin with all the leaves you can see through and then I stenciled the image and then <laughs> just so the image will pop at least the face I started to color uh, on the inside so that's how this page came to be okay well I don't remember how <laughs> this what did I do here I do know there is some kind of paint, some stenciling, and this is from a paper napkin that was only white with uh, the black markings to, and I just colored on the inside once, once all this was dry, I took some uh, gel roll pens and colored on the inside. Okay, some uh, boring... A 12 by 12 that I had I don't know if you can see but you can see the pattern in the back so I didn't like them what I've done is I've taken acrylic paint do I've done a wash on top of them so this ones went with the turquoise this one with this magenta and then I stamped on, on them with gold and that's how I got these papers and then I tore them and put this piece that I got from something. 
Okay, lots of work <laughs> went here. Uh, only this is from, this is a scrapbook paper. And all these are all kinds of paper. This is from a magazine. It's, I think it's called Momigami or Monigami. I don't remember. <laughs> you just uh, start to work and scrunch the paper and with... I think oil or something and uh, until it's you basically you are uh, breaking the the threads of the paper <laughs> I don't know how to explain it so and then you go with acrylic paint or with uh, ink pads and add some details to all the um, wrinkles Okay, so I've done, this is a magazine page. This was a paper bag that I colored and then done the same thing. And all of this has some gold and some bronze accent uh, to the wrinkles. And this and this and this are a mulberry paper that some had already some details. This one I put on I don't know if you can see it, but I've put it on a stencil and then I scrapped on top of it some oil pastels to get the design. Okay, so this uh, <laughs> raven was cut from a coloring book. I just colored it black and then stenciled on top of it with gold. This was already, I had a gold paper that I stenciled on top of it with this uh, red and that's how I got it so <laughs> here I just played with some watercolor in the back and I drew it by hand and had fun with it I think I'm not sure I think this one has a video or I done something similar I'm not sure but basically just smooshing some watercolor on top of the page then stenciling and this I've done by hand and that's it okay so paper bag in the bag just to remind you it's the same one that I had here only here I've done some stenciling with gesso I don't know if you can see it but there are white uh, flowers in the back it's gesso and after I've done that I went all over and I've done a wash with acrylic paint so I got this uh, light blue uh, background instead of this and this I uh, stenciled and the figure again it's a stencil part of a stencil I didn't like the whole of it so I just took the image of this and I drew the <laughs> flower that she's now holding and this is it I just colored it and that's it so that's it <laughs> that's my two uh, junk journals i hope you liked it i hope you got some ideas to play with so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now